social media has become increasingly prevalent in the everyday lives of people around the world, and teenagers in particular are known to exhibit high levels of social media usage. A 2015 Pew Research study found that 92% of adolescents report going on social media daily. Online, they are exposed to a variety of information and images, including messages about standards of appearance. To what extent has social media usage in the United States impacted the social norms of beauty among different high school genders? Good morning. My name is Pristine Tai, and these are my colleagues, Braxton Bryant, Sophia Cruz, Vaishnavi Rana, and Gavin Sears. Our claim is that the perception of beauty in both male and female youth has been changed over time by businesses and celebrities on social media, which has had severe effects on the mental and physical health of teenagers. The Forbes article, Tapping into the Power of Social Media, notes that targeted campaigns on social have the ability to go viral, thereby raising businesses' social media visibility. Through this, supporters are encouraged to become future fundraisers who reach out through social media for donations. Companies understand the immense potential of social media to reach a broad audience via countless digital connections. Thus, businesses are likely to utilize social media in order to help boost product visibility and sales. Because so many teenagers use social media, advertisements on it are likely to reach an audience primarily consisting of adolescents. This explains why social media content may be specifically tailored. This explains why social media content may be specifically tailored to enticing teenagers, since they would be the largest existing audience. In an American Journal of Preventive Medicine special article, Felsen et al. wrote that tanning salons target teenage girls with promotions and provide inaccurate information regarding risk and recommended usage. By pushing an idealized appearance, industries can change beauty standards to make more money off of their deliverables. In addition, failure to conform to beauty standards shown on social media causes teenage girls to feel unattractive. Thus, they will feel pressured into buying products or services that will make them look more like the images they're absorbing. This affects their self-confidence while also propping up beauty and cosmetic industries, creating a positive feedback loop of encouragement for companies to continue investing in social media. Celebrities play a large influence on teens in modern society. Advertisements on social media, such as a brand and makeup, alters the youth's perception of beauty. The wealth of influencers also allows them to change their bodies through cosmetic surgery, which teenagers simply can't afford. This affects their overall health as they attempt to live life like celebrities. Other peers also present a problem on the role social media has on adolescents. A study by Sun Woo Kim suggests humans interact and compare themselves with members of society to evaluate their abilities and or opinions that generate social power and opportunity. By comparing oneself to others, it is a role of one's peers to change how they view themselves. Social media also strengthens the acceptance of eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa. When a post is liked and shared, it, as a result, makes such disability normal. The appearance of teens matters greatly, which can also lead to lying in order to fit into one group of people. This setting can put them into harm's way or affect their mental health. However, before social media and cell phones, teens would look to movies, the newspaper, magazines, and other forms of media. Society would take these trends and apply them to art pieces, books, movies, magazines, fashion shows, and more. Artists in the 17th and 18th centuries would make sculptures that represented the beauty standards for both men and women at the time. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, Hollywood primarily casted women with wide hips and waist and other beauty standards that were prevailing at the time. In the 80s and 90s, fashion shows, movies, magazines, and music videos had an impact on the beauty standards at the time. With this change from looking at various forms of media, solely looking at social media, there's been a steady increase in the different body types shown and celebrated on social media for both men and women, as well as a growing focus from previous years on the ideal of male body type. Today with social media, many of the same trends still exist in society for both men and women, but with a larger and more intense impact on the beauty standards portrayed to the two genders. 
More time spent on social media has been linked to poor mental health. Online harassment by cyber bullies can cause a negative body image and poor self-esteem. This could harm teenagers' mental health, causing anxiety and depression. A false perception of beauty is shown on social media. When teenagers compare their body to the ideal body shown on social media, it can cause body dissatisfaction. Some teenagers might even use Photoshop to fit the socially accepted body image. The picture on the slide shows how most of the social media applications we use, such as Instagram and Snapchat, have affected teens' mental health in a negative way. The false perception of beauty shown on social media has led to an increase in eating disorders. The peak age for diagnosis of eating disorders is 15 to 19 years old, when people with eating disorders are socially accepted by having a lot of bites. They tend to eat less and stay that way, but that does not help with the disorder. Teenagers prefer to be socially accepted rather than being a healthy individual, which has increased eating disorder cases. The picture on the slide shows how teenage girls who spend more time on social media have an increased chance of getting diagnosed with eating disorder. One of the most common environments created by these social norms is from apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and others. These environments show idealized pictures that can quickly lead to comparisons and someone feeling bad about themselves. You know, say these environments created by social media can definitely impact mental health negatively, but these situations aren't the only way these environments can impact mental health. When the situation progresses past comparing all the way to putting others down, it becomes cyberbullying. These environments can stem from someone judging those appearance, well, any number of things, really, and shown the 30% of males and 36% of females who have experienced it. The difference between these environments and stereotypical bullying is the desensitization that comes with being a screen to screen as opposed to someone's face. It's a lot easier to bully someone with their phone. These potential social environments also coincide with the previous points spent throughout the presentation, where enough negative emotions can lead to eating disorders, can create a celebrity influence over teens, and be monopolized through body standards.